हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक सुपर क्रीमी सुपर टेस्टी फ्रूट कस्टर्ड विद एगलेस कस्टर्ड पाउडर सो लेट्स सी द रेसिपी एट फर्स्ट आई हैव टेकन अ वेसल एंड इन दिस वेसल आई एल एड वन फोर्थ कप ऑफ कस्टर्ड पाउडर दिस इज एगलेस कस्टर्ड पाउडर एंड दिस इज होम मेड एंड इट्स रेसिपी इज गिवन इन द आई बटन आप प्लीज वॉच दिस रेसिपी एंड मेक दिस कस्टर्ड पाउडर एट होम योर and for 1/4 cup of custard powder i'll add 3 uh, and a half cup of milk actually 2 cups of milk is enough for this recipe but i'm taking 3 and a half cup of milk because i want some extra creaminess in this fruit custard i'll cook it and dry this quantity of milk to 1 and a half cup now we have to mix this slurry very well and we need a lumps free smooth slurry smooth batter so we have to break down all the lumps and make a smooth slurry to do this process quickly i'll use a hand whisker and whisk the mixture you may do this same thing with the spoon also but in that case you will need a longer time here you can see friends that i have made a smooth batter I mean smooth slurry it's very smooth and fully lumps free and now we have to put this vessel to cook on heat but before that i'll show you on the smoothness of this slurry with the help of a spoon as you can see friends the slurry is very smooth so let's cook it here you can see friends that i have put the vessel on heat on induction and now we have to stir the mixture continuously now the mixture has started to boil very nicely as you can see and now we have to stir the mixture occasionally and uh, wait until the mixture is uh, of creamy texture one thing to say friends that uh, the custard powder is already sweetened and we don't need to add any sugar in it but at the end of this cooking you can check the sweetness of this custard and add sugar if needed and now i am just waiting for a creamy texture of this custard and of course i am cooking it on high heat and stirring it occasionally you will feel a heaviness in your spoon of this cream when the cream is ready and now you may notice the quantity of this cream and the color of this cream they are fully changed and i am feeling a heaviness in my spoon of the creaminess of this custard and we can check the creaminess of this custard with the help of the spoon as well i'm running my fingertip on the spoon and you can see the clean line clearly it means that our custard cream is ready for the fruit custard and now we have to cool down the mixture fully you can see friends after some time the uh, custard cream is in normal temperature and i haven't kept it in fridge i have brought it to normal temperature only and now we will add fruits in this cream you may use any kind of fruits for this fruit custard of your choice i have taken some apples some pears some bananas and some pomegranates and i have cut them into small pieces now we will add the fruits into the custard cream You may keep the ratio of the fruits and the custard cream according to your wish. And now mine is ready as you can see. Let's give a nice mix to everything and now our fruit custard is ready. Now I'll take it out into a uh, serving bowls and then I'll freeze it. So let's serve the fruit custard. I'm serving it first and after that I'll freeze it but you may freeze the fruit custard at first and after freezing the mixture you can serve it. So I'm serving it first. You have seen friends that the recipe is very simple and it's super delicious, super creamy to eat. So try this simple recipe at home and don't forget to let me know about your experience. Hit the like button if you really liked the video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Now we have to keep this tray in fridge and after that we'll serve it.
Now I am garnishing a little with the pomegranate seeds from the upper side so that it looks very nice and very delicious. And now I am going to freeze it for an hour and after that I will serve it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to meet you in the next video. Bye bye.